everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels, and welcome to another episode here on my channel. Now, today we're going to be playing on the Logical Geek Boy Patreon server. And I'm starting off on the main screen here because I received a message that, um, that I should be recording the second I get on from Victor, who's not on the server at the moment, but he, we've been chatting on Discord. And I feel like there's a pretty good chance that I've been pranked here. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> and he, he told me that I will be amazed. His exact words were, will, or let me try that again. His exact words are, you will be amazed. All sent in separate messages so we're gonna connect here and I don't remember where I last was on this server so Let, let's see what's gonna happen all right so I am inside my base I'm just staring at a wall right now I don't see anything happening yet <laughs> I told Victor I was gonna be uh, uh, coming onto the server so there there he is right there and I'm just gonna casually look around I'm not seeing anything I'm pretty sure I left all this stuff here this is looking all right so far. Um, I'm not seeing anything through these windows. Uh, what, what, what's gonna happen? Not, not <laughs> um, <laughs> there, there, there we go. We have <laughs> a giant slime head. Uh, let, let's do I have my rockets on me? Where are my rockets? Let's let's take off into the air and uh, see what's going on. Wait, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, if I can take off with the electric. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, well, at least I don't have to ever worry about slime. I'm gonna have a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm on top of it right now. About to go in. <laughs> um,. I can kind of see through here. He, he said he had to give me a welcome gift the other night and asked where my base was, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, my, my first death on the server was actually from a slime. Oh, basically I just... <laughs> there... <laughs> he, got, he got another two slimes on the inside. Oh god, another four slimes on the inside. I'm, I'm a little bit worried if I go inside, are there going to be more slimes? There. <laughs> There's another slime inside. Uh, now. <laughs> Alright, that's a, that's as small as they get. Is there a slime inside every one of these? Where? Oh, the, well, the worst thing about slime is trying to move around because it takes forever. Ah, oh, see, that one doesn't have one. It takes, ooh, okay, this is a good one. I'll take a look at that in a second. The worst thing about slime is it just takes forever to move because it slows you down from the stickiness. That one has one there. All right, let's uh, let's put this down and see what's inside this shulker box. Uh, now, this was not what I was planning to originally do when I was gonna start recording this episode, so uh, let's see. How did, how did that just open? I didn't click on it. Uh, let, let's see what's inside here. Okay, this is pretty nice. Uh, Basically, full gear. Is this like OP everything? Uh, just about. That's pretty awesome. So I got backup gear for for all my stuff now. That's that's great. Instant health, tons of iron. Uh, let <laughs> guardian pass. Ooh, what's this? Uh, this is for the use once weekly. Maximum 10 stacks of items can be taken. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Once weekly, you can take a maximum 10 stacks of items. Uh, has spent time. These items are not. So that's really cool. All right, so I got to figure out where this guardian farm is. I've heard where where it's at, um, but I haven't actually gone to check it out. So I can use this for XP, and I can take items. It sounds like once a week, uh, up to 10 stacks. So that that's pretty awesome. That's gonna work out. And I just actually bought a ton of stuff from the. Uh, whoops, from. Um, the, the the guardian shop in the shopping district so <laughs> uh there we go so yeah this is really cool i'm gonna leave this up for for now i can 
put all this back together, make it look nice and neat. I don't know if anyone else is going to want to come by and check this out, so I'll leave this. Ah, so here we are. Here's the man himself. This is actually my first time, I think, seeing him on the server. So this is uh, uh, Victor. He went. He's the one that went ahead and uh, <laughs> took care of building this giant slime. And he, he's throwing slime. I don't know what where it's going or what's happening with it. <laughs> Jeez, how much slime? And, and now he disappeared. Uh, <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so let me kind of figure myself out, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll get back to work on uh, what we're gonna do for this episode once I uh, <laughs> once I'm done fully appreciating this. Uh, so yeah, I just had to give a quick update here because <laughs> uh, Victor came back and he dropped off another couple of gifts. So I got this slime head and the slime head is one of my favorite heads in the game. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and it's, it, I, I can, I wonder if I can get it to like match exactly the same size in the camera. I don't know. Uh, probably not. And uh, he also handed me a, uh, a guardian head. Can I swap those out? So, oh, <laughs> oh, that looks angry. That's an angry looking head. Let's go back to the slime head. That's a lot, <laughs> a lot funnier. Uh, there we go. Yo, what up? All right. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get cracking with the episode. I got I got some plans here, so. Uh, first off, we're going to head into the uh, the nether and uh, stop off over at the uh, the hub there. All right, so in the last episode, I was going to try and show off a prank that happened here on the server where someone took all of our crafting benches and turned this into a big convention center called CraftCon. But unfortunately, when I went to go to record, it was taken down. And uh, shortly after that was recorded, this happened. So we have uh, an entire pumpkin Halloween themed uh, hub now, so that's uh, that, that's pretty cool. That gave me a good laugh. Let's say goodbye to Vic. Um, see ya. <laughs> and I am here in the Nether Hub, not only the, only to show off this prank, but I want to get some inspiration too. So I, I decided that in today's episode, I want to work on my my tunnel coming into the uh, the Nether Hub. Now I'm not going to be doing the entire. Uh, tunnel. We're down. Uh, where are my directions here? We're over on this side. We're down this this western tunnel over here. Where's my sign? Yeah, you can see right there. Negative uh, 487. So I'm not going to be working on this part of the tunnel. I want to actually work on uh, my my path coming from the main tunnel out to where my portal is. So I want to come in here and just kind of get some uh, some inspiration and get some ideas and try and figure things out and what I wanted to do so this is this is nice uh, <laughs> this is cool here uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do though so let's go ahead and just take a look at a couple of things and uh, figure out what we want to do so yeah <laughs> you may see see these up in a few places around the server have you seen this crafting bench so um, when CraftCon happened all of our crafting benches were, were taken so some missing signs went up, but yeah, let me let me continue snooping around and and get some ideas for what I want to do for uh, for my nether tunnel. So yeah, this is a pretty uh, pretty cool design. I never would have thought about adding in uh, purple with uh, with with the nether brick, so that's cool. And then that transitions. Oh, there's even some uh, prismarine, and, and I didn't even notice that before. I'm walking all down here, focused on the purple and the red nether brick, um, and then it transitions into. Uh, into this tunnel here, and this is uh, just some some nice sand. This I think goes to uh, Star's tunnel, which which brings me to the next thing I need to do in this episode. So uh, we we've started needing pyramids in or not pyramids uh, permits in order to do certain things on the server. So uh, I was told that you can come here to pick up your your permits. So uh, yeah, this looks like the right place. Let me uh, let me go ahead here and I'll pick up some permits. So here we are where we get our permits from this pyramid and to get it we just need to pick up a couple of 
these stairs here throw that down and then there's some good premium permits up at the top so I'm gonna hop up there and uh, collect a couple of those too and I think uh, maybe four of these let's grab five just to be safe and you gotta replace the blocks you gotta make sure that you replace anything that you take so people know you got that permit and you know since we're here let's grab another uh, let's grab three no, it can never be too safe. All right, here we go. We got our permits taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to uh, to the tunnel and we'll start our building. All right, so here's the cool thing about soul sand. Uh, now soul sand looks like a full block, but technically it's slightly larger than a full block. So you can put it next to ice and still go really fast next to it. So we, <laughs> you see how fast we went there. now. By comparison, if I can pick that up, if I were to say take some of these wooden planks, and we'll just do something like this, just so you have an idea, um, and put the boat down. Look at how much slower we go now. And once we get off the wooden planks, we go fast again. Whoops. Uh, let's turn back. Oh god. Let's turn back around. Not 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 too much. Not too much like that and try not to fall off. Okay. So again, we hit the wooden planks, we go really slow, speed up on the normal glass and or ice, and when you get to the soul sand area, we still maintain our speed and go really nice and fast. So that's what I want to Oh, there goes my boat. So that's what I want to utilize here. Uh, to make this design look a little bit more unique and of course as a player running around as long as you stay on the center here you're not gonna run into any problems unless you go into the soul sand and then you go incredibly slow um, I'm gonna put up some barrier blocks on the side too I just don't know what they're gonna be yet um, yeah so that's that now I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep normal glass here if I'm gonna switch it out for compressed uh, we just have to think about that because Putting in compressed ice um, means we don't have to worry about the lighting. We don't have to worry about um, if we use any torches or sea lanterns or anything melting the ice. But you do have to worry about uh, spawns on it. So zombie pigmen can can spawn on these blocks. Whereas the ice block uh, is transparent, so you don't have to worry about any spawns in there. So I might swap out the compressed ice for regular ice. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I gotta think that over and see what I'm going to do. But let me play around with the design here for a bit. And once I have something that I like, I'll uh, show you what I came up with. And we'll continue doing some, uh, some more work on the sides here. All right. So at this point, I'm not sure what happened. There are some issues with my recording and the next couple of clips had no sound where I uh, explain what I'm going to be doing and then the actual building process. So unfortunately, I don't have those clips to show. They're not worth showing with, with no audio because I'm not someone who does voiceovers. That, that doesn't work for me. I'm not, I'm not good at that. So sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, at, at this point, um, I went ahead and I picked out my block palette. It's going to be a bunch of, of uh, purple blocks. I'm using purple glass. As you see here, some soul sand. I end up using some sandstone, uh, some blue terracotta, which looks nice and purple, uh, some purple concrete, and some other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next clip. And um, yeah, sorry about that. Hopefully it's uh, uh, not too bad, you know, having some, some missing things. It's not missing too much, though. It's not too bad. All right. I'll catch up with you in a second. Here we are with the completed nether tunnel, and again, I apologize for the last couple of clips not being included because the audio was missing, but this is the, uh, the design that I've ended up with. I may still come back and make a couple of changes here and there. Uh, I still have to work on finishing the end. If I come down here, you'll see I, I haven't made this connect nicely to the portal yet. Uh, I want to do something a little bit different for, for this, still keeping with the same block palette of over here. I'm just not sure how I want to connect it yet. So I decided to stick with some constraints when doing this build. Uh, the A couple of the guys on the server, they went ahead and they set up this tunnel for me. I didn't actually make the uh, uh, foundation of this tunnel, just the netherrack that was here previously. Uh, they also happened to put down this ice, and they did one, two, three, four regular ice, and then uh, one, I think it's called compressed ice or packed ice. I forget what it's called. Um, 
every every fifth block so it's normal 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 compressed and and so forth so i decided to use that as kind of like a template of how to plan things out so normally i would have gone with something that was odd so i probably would have done either sections of three or five probably five in this case but uh, i thought it'd be a fun challenge to work with evens because people don't work with uh, with evens very often so it worked out pretty well with the ceiling design and i think it's a decent amount um of space in between pillars here uh, the only thing I'm not too thrilled with is the the walls. They are a little bit of plain, a uh, little plain. That's why I'm thinking I might do something else to uh, add uh, something in as a little variety. I thought about maybe covering it up with a bunch of glass panes, but since I'm using slabs on the top and the bottom, it doesn't look quite right. So maybe I'll instead, let's break these down, uh, put something in the middle here. Maybe, can I just jump? through here maybe not okay I gotta break this maybe instead of glass panes in the middle I can just put them uh oh did I lose that I think I lost that block uh that will be all right maybe I can just put them in the middle here and just have little windows looking out to the nether um I don't know that that could be that could be nice I might I might keep that I'll probably keep playing around and figure out what I'm gonna do later on I'll uh, I'll leave this here for now and see if it grows on me so let's go ahead and take a quick run down the tunnel just to show you what it's like. So yeah, this uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm happy with how it is. It's a simplistic design. It's not too fancy. It's not too over the top. Um, it's not very complicated uh, where you get sick or feel nauseous from, from running back and forth, up and down it. Oh, got a little crazy there. Uh, going side to side. And yeah, so I'm happy with that. It, it, it's cool. It's nice. I like it. It fits my colors. Uh, which are, are obviously purple. There we go. Uh, now one other thing that I want to add in is maybe some redstone stuff on the end here to uh, have like the, the boat dispenser or, or pickup station and do that on both sides. So this may even get moved in a little bit too, uh, which is why I hadn't completed this side. So this is the tunnel and we're just about done for today, but there's one last thing that I want to do and take care of. So let me uh, let me go over there and get set up for that. So the next thing we're going to do is there's a new game in the shopping district that I want to check out and play and it was uh, wasn't working well it was open yesterday and then it wasn't working and I was going to record there and I guess it's better that it wasn't working yesterday because my recording stuff was all messed up and who knows what would have happened so today recording seems to be going much better so I'm glad it wasn't working yesterday so I can record it today and everything work out properly. So this is the game over here, I believe, and there's some rules and things that we need to take a look at. Um, wait, game needs stock back on later to fill up, but I was told it should be working, so maybe they just forgot to take off the sign. Uh, so this, the lamp is off, it needs a reset, so it, it, it's on, so I think we're okay. All right, let's look at the rules here. So this is the pumpkin patch game. We are going to place a diamond in the trap chest. I think that's this one over here, because there's also a chest here, and I'm not sure what's that. That just says chest. That just says chest. I'm not sure uh, if there's a difference, so I guess it's going to be that one. Uh, and you get to remove six, or you get six tries at removing a pumpkin to see if there is a prize underneath, and then you need to replace them. Uh, if you play something other than a diamond, it returns there. Oh, okay, that's what that chest is. Finally, check the lamp behind you is on before you pay anything. You need to wait three notes and the lamp to light, uh, and you have three minutes to play. Okay, so you got to be pretty quick here. Let's make sure we get our axe in here. And you play one diamond in each game. Don't put in more or you lose them. Uh, no other rules to read here. So I got a di I got three diamonds. I'm only going to play once because I want to make sure everyone on the server has an opportunity to play here. So I'm not going to do this more than once. Let's just eat some steak real quick. Make sure we don't lose any hunger. A little laggy today here on the server. We'll put in our one diamond. Close the chest. Let's wait for our three dings. There we go. Lights on. All right. Let's take a quick look around. Um... What do I want to go for first? Let's let's do something back here. What's this? Um, I'm not sure how this. Th I don't know if this is cheating. If I look down there, I can see stuff through here. Uh, there might be a little little thing. I feel like I shouldn't take stuff like that. Let's break this one. Nothing. 
Uh, okay, so that's one. And let's do this guy. Nope. Two. Let's try three. All right, if I don't win, maybe I'll try it again. Four and five. Nope. Uh, one more. So let's do this corner one. Six. Well, that didn't work. Okay. So let's go back out here and let's see. Do I have to wait for, I guess I have to wait for this light to turn off. All right. So give me a second. I'm going to wait for this light to turn off and then I'm going to try playing again. Okay. Round two. Hopefully we did a little bit better this time. Diamond is in. Three dings. Let's go. Uh, one. Nothing. Uh, let's go over here. Two. To, I guess that means I got something. I'm just going to take that. So that's uh, two. Where else? Where else? Let's go this one. That's three. Nothing. Um, let's try this one. Four, five, okay. More iron. Let's place that down and that down. And let's try one more. So this one kind of looks like it's in a grave, so... Ooh. Hey, we got a diamond back. That was number six. Okay, so not too bad. We got some iron and we got our, uh, we got our diamond back. So we really only lost a diamond, but we gained some iron, so that's cool. I still need tons of iron, so that's uh, that's fun. I'm glad I, I won, and even though I said I only was going to go once, the first time was a bust, so I had to do it again. So, cool. Alright, um, this is actually gonna wrap up the episode for today, guys, so whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, that was weird. Alright, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this has been Bowtie. Peace out.